Welcome to New Fira Stadium, home of the Snuffalo Thrills. The city's tourism slogan, shuffle off to Snuffalo and die. It's very appropriate as the Thrills fans are eager to see their opponents buried today. Very popular honeymoon spot, Pilgrim. When the honeymoon's over, do what those people do. Jump off the floors with the old ball and chain. Hey, anybody see my good smokes? Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers and lots of lots of beers. The Galaxy Chaos face off against the Snuffle Thrills. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Welcome to another game day here on the MFL Network. Grim Blitzrow along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan. How you doing? Great city, isn't it, Bricks? Fantastic city. My motel even has free color TV. Oh, that's and nice. an ice machine that works. Wow. There was police tape blocking the bathroom because of the photographers in there, but other than that, no complaints. They, they give you free jelly at breakfast, too. Sounds like a real winner. And it's first and ten. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. Second down and ten. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. Nice pickup for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. for a first down. And it's first and ten. That's a catch for a four-yard gain. Second down and six. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. First down and six. And into the end zone for a touchdown! Once he got his hands on that pass, he was on to the races. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I fall. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. All right, don't get covered your ears, Bricks. He can go all the way. The 30. The oh, man, he really wants it. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. Oh, 
With kickers, you never know. The kick is good. Yeah, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Second down and ten. First and ten. Wow! The quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his receiver, knocking down the... Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles. It was just a regular knuckles. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? why refs are hated even more than kickers? <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. Yeah, well, I know. I hate those zebra men. <laughs> They're back up here on first down. And they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. First down in a mile. It's about a three yard pickup. Second down in a mile. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Oh, great throw! Great catch! And that puts six points on the board! The defense couldn't do anything to stop a throw that good, man! You mean aside from bribing the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. Oh, what a 
punishing him that one. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. Second down and a lot. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. It's anyone's game at the end of quarter one. And it's first and ten. Second down, and ain't gonna happen, partner. And Bricks, they just made up a whole lot of field in a hurry with that pass play. And I just made up a new name for a sandwich. Third down and ten. You've got to catch that. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. Nice punt. Should move them back nicely. And it's first and ten. Defense holds that pass play to only two yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all-you-can-eat buffets? They're not as literal as you'd think. Second down and seven. No one was interested in that incomplete pass. Man, not a boss feelings are hurt. Hey, don't make me explain that balls don't have emotions again, all right? And that'll bring up third down and seven. That would have been a disappointing run. It's even a worse throw. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, he just cleaned into that guy. The offense has it. That was a close one. First and ten. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Pick up a 
of about three on that play. Second down and seven. And the defense just called the ginormous dirty trick. His big ass will probably show up on the radar. First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. It looks like the lineman wanted to get the ball a high five. That he did, Bricks. That he did. Third down and, well, good luck. Oh, nice hit. Smart move there as they call a timeout trying to get the ball back for another shot. Well, this kick is no guarantee. Sure it is. If he misses, he's fired. Guaranteed. Straight through the uprights. <laughs> the teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sits up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. <laughs> and it's first and ten. by his team after the game. Second down and ten. Looks like a pass and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, oh, pass the popcorn, Grim. Zoom in on his face, then his crotch. I want to see if he cries or pisses himself first. A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Prince's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole up here. Talking to you. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy of three returns. Let's see if he beats the odds. Boom! And it's first and ten. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five!
defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Second down and ten. trick and now it's like everything that just happened didn't get Brick's mom on the phone quick i want to use 13,000 of those time warps whenever a player gets big like this it reminds me of that tom hanks movie ah. he drops it if he does that again they'll drop him you know sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back And he put all of his foot into that one. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. Play the dog thing, Snags. He got you play a card. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Oh, with a punishing hit. And that'll be second and eight to go. I personally think that the ginormous guy is compensating for something, but I won't be the one to tell him. Oh, that was a hit. You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Bricks? I'll take the salad, Steve. Wait, where am I? And it's first and ten. Second down and a very lot. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. First down and five. That's a four-yard gain. And that'll bring up second and one. Pow! With the brain scrambler! Third and four. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. The kick is good! Man, as expected, those are pretty much just guineas. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. It's 
there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. And the quarterback calls a sonic. Oh, and the ball falls to the ground. That's incomplete. He needs to throw it when a receiver can catch it. What's he doing? And uh, groundbreaking analysis as always there, Bricks. Uh, thank you. I do my part. the way to move the chains that's good for a first down this game is all about momentum and killing and it's first and ten. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life second down and long It's a monster hit! Well, technically, they're all monster hits, Grim, because, you know, they're all monsters. Point taken. Somebody get that guy a beer, because he just saved me a thousand bucks! And it's first and ten. Way to get the sticks moving, he picks up five on that play. Second down and five. Now it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Third down and five. was a bone crusher right there, folks. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. Nice punt. Should move them back nicely. Nice catch, and it turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy of three. Oh, he just got crushed. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. And it's first and ten. He had it for a second there. Second down and ten. And that pass is good for about five yards. Third down and five. Now it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And it's first and ten. Drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Briggs, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let 
Let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. Second down in a lot. Top for the first down. And it's first and ten. It's a pass and catch for no gain. Then how is it a pass? Second down and ten. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. He rifled that one in there, and they come up with ten yards on the play. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. The like punt of the day is being played by my kid's sister. And, she and he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. Picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. Not much there, maybe a yard. Third down and five. He's got a good chiropractor. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. The brutal hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. They quickly call a timeout, hoping to save some time for their offense. And it's first and ten. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done! See that boot, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast.
Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and... The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell? It's the same thing in the hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused! Oh, with the brutal hit! And, it, and that'll be their final timeout. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Quinn? Aren't we all? will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. Another bullshit penalty. How long are these guys going to take this? First down and long, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> and the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. Play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets a snuffle thrill, thrill their home fans, and walk away with a victory. After a stomping like that, the opposition may be a permanent part of the field. More like a graveyard, Grim. There are body parts everywhere. And speaking of body parts, that I have a tell well, you what listen I'm to MVP. I'm sure he has something inspiring to say. with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every other...